our top focus is of course on Karnataka where former Karnataka Chief Minister Sidramaya and Karnataka Congress Chief DK Shivkumar are all set to take oath as the Chief Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister respectively today in a short while. Now the Congress Chief Malakarjan Karge has approved a list of cabinet ministers. Eight ministers will be taking oath today. Now this includes the names of Priyank Karge, MB Patil and G. Parameshwara. The swearing-in ceremony is being pegged as a show of strength by the opposition parties as the Congress, the grand old party, has extended invitations to the Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, Telangana's Chief Minister K. Ch 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 K. Chandrasekhar Rao, West Bengal's Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee and Tamil Nadu's Chief Minister M. K. Stalin, among others. <laughs> जो एमएलए मंत्री पद के लिए शपथ ले रहे हैं तो उसमें सारे लोग शामिल हो रहे मैं भी उसी के लिए जा रहा हूं ये खुशी की बात है कि कर्नाटक में नई सरकार आई है और कांग्रेस की सरकार एक मजबूत सरकार आई है ये इससे कर्नाटक की भी भलाई होगी और देश में भी बहुत अच्छा माहौल उसके वजह से बन रहा है पूरा देश चाहता है जो बदलाव की बाहर आई है कर्नाटक के अंदर वो लगातार आगे बढ़ती जाए बढ़ती जाए राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ और उसके बाद में और भी राज्य भी हैं और केंद्र सरकार का भी चुनाव आएगा जो बर्बादी हो रही देश के अंदर वो समझने वाले समझ रहे हैं बर्बादी हो रही है वॉयलेंस हो रहा है देश के अंदर छापे पड़ रहे हैं ईडी इनकम रेट सीबीआई के आज लोकतंत्र खतरे के अंदर हो गया है संविधान की धज्जा उड़ रही है जुडिशरी के ऊपर दबाव है बहुत भयंकर दे कैन बी इजीली डिफीटेड दे कैन बी इवन राउटेड दैट इज अवॉर्ड द कर्नाटका इलेक्शन सोर्स नाउ द ओनली थिंग इज दैट द ऑल इन ओपोजिशन पार्टी शुड स्टैंड यूनाइटेड to face the challenge and i think if they stand united we can easily remove uh, uh, bjp from union government and every leader they understand that see the only thing is because this party is anti people they are for a few rich people of this country they are not for the welfare of the whole society they are uh, they want to promote uh, not development they want to promote only religion we're crossing over to CNN News 18's correspondent Ritu, who's on the ground and is outside of Sidramaya's residence. Uh, Ritu, uh, can you tell us more about what Sidramaya has been doing today ahead of the swearing-in ceremony? Well, you see, you know, what we are also learning is that Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi have arrived uh, here in the Bengaluru uh, at the airport and they'll be heading towards the, uh, ho their hotel shortly as well. But meanwhile, Sidramaya, who reached his residence last night, uh, very uh, in the wee in the house, basically, that, you know, he's inside his house right now, resting for some time. And very soon that he'll also be heading towards the location. Now, needs to be seen whether he will, uh, uh, you know, uh, d from here directly go to the Kantirawa Stadium or will have a different plans as well. But meanwhile, there are many leaders who are actually visiting Siddharamaya there you can see in the visual that Vinay Kulkarni uh, the Congress leader is here uh, uh, at the residence right now to meet Siddharamaya before he heads towards the uh, Kantirawa Stadium but however, you see there are also a lot of supporters of Sidramaya who have all gathered here right in front of his house. Many of them are also carrying a flower bouquet as well to give it to Sidramaya. Let's try and have a word with them. Sir, you will bandhi dira flower bouquet it kondi dira Sidramaya aurage vishmada kanta na? Yes, yes madam. So how happy you are about the fact that he is going to be the Karnataka's uh, next chief minister now? Now, Bagalkot Jilla Hunugun Talo Kinda Bandhi Dive, Obba Ahinda Nayaka, नम राज्य मुख्यमंत्री आगार अंदर अब खुशी पड़ो सूदि अद्र ना एलू नम नम ऊर नम नम हल ना सदराम नोड़क बंदी सर नहीं हेल्ती फ्लवर बोके सदराम साहेब नोड़क बंदी तुम खुशी आगते सीएम आगोदी बंदी 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 
Okay, so there you see a bunch of people from Bagalkote district that have all come here, all the way from Bagalkote to, uh, uh, here, uh, at, you know, right in front of uh, Sidramaya's residence that they are standing to just get the glimpses of uh, Sidramaya and also give uh, him this bouquet and wish him as well as he's going to be the Karnataka's next chief minister. But we do know that what kind of atmosphere is at the Kantirava Stadium. A lot of people are reaching out the, uh, at the venue, you see, to just be there to see the oath ceremony of uh, Sidramaya, DK Shikumar as in the deputy CM and also other eight cabinet ministers as well. So yes, that's how Karnataka is today because it's uh, Sithira Mai who is going to take uh, the oath as in the 24th the chief minister of Karnataka. Absolutely. Ritu, so a few follow-up questions for you while we're covering this entire story that's uh, taking place in Karnataka where the new government is going to be sworn in today with eight cabinet ministers also taking oath. Uh, when it comes to Sidra Maya, he is the third, only the third chief minister in Karnataka to fulfill a fi full five-year term. What do you think has really worked under Sidramaya's governance? Yes, as you pointed out, you see Sidrama is the only uh, uh, chief minister, in fact, in 2013, who completed five full years as in the uh, tenure after Devraj, who was the former chief minister. So this time again, that he's going, he is the Karnataka's next chief minister. Needs to be seen how much is that, you know, there will be a unity among the Congress party and for how long that he will also be able to serve the people of Karnataka, whether again that he will, uh, you know, complete his five whole years of tenure. So that needs to be seen. But we do know that in 2013, the kind of social welfare schemes that he brought, out uh, Bhagya schemes that we all know. So how much it helped the Karnataka uh, people here and we did see this whole resonating even during the election time as well. Well, he was extensively uh, uh, campaigning for the party. So yes, all that is there on top of that. You see, even as in his supporter here pointed out that he's in the, uh, he is Ahinda leader and yes, he, need, he deserves this opportunity because he has proved it uh, uh, earlier and this time again he will prove it because it's the party who has given him the chance to serve people of Karnataka. But remember his age Factor is also a concern while he is, you know, around 75 years old. DK Shukumar is 62 years old. So that's the that, that was the concern while the party was really thinking on those lines to who should be the Karnataka's next chief minister. And there was also a sort of pressure that was actually mounted on the Congress High Command to consider the age factor as well and try and ensure that there is a new uh, leader among the party so that the party is not affected on the long run. But the uh, the party knew somewhere that they had to bow down to a fact that you know it's Sidramaya at this, this point in time who can uh, who's a mass leader and who can actually uh, take this whole administration further as well and will be able to handle the congress leaders too so with all that being uh, an uh, added advantage for the sidramaya he's been chosen as the karnataka's next chief minister absolutely ritu thank you for all of that important information do stay with us we also want to cross over to one of our other reporters who's joining us from the ground we are crossing over to cnn news 18's akshay who's joining us live from shangri-la uh, akshay can you tell us why exactly you're at that location Well, you see, right now, uh, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi have landed in Bengaluru. Uh, they were received by D.K. Shukumar, the, uh, the elect for Deputy Chief Minister. And uh, Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi and various other leaders will be arriving at the Shangri-La Hotel. They'll freshen up and head towards Kantirava Stadium, where the oath-taking ceremony will take, uh, will take place. And uh, in this particular hotel, where the CLP meeting took place, you also have uh, various other uh, ministers, chief ministers also staying here. We are getting to know that uh, Sitaram Yachuri from the Communist Party is also staying at this venue. And uh, right now, we saw Farooq Abdullah heading out of this uh, particular venue. And uh, many, various other leaders from the Congress Party from different states have been staying here who have arrived to attend the oath-taking ceremony of uh, Chief Minister Sitaramaya and uh, DK Shukumar who will be you know, uh, taking this oath as the Deputy Chief Minister along with eight cabinet ministers. Uh, so various leaders are uh, stationed here and uh, very shortly we will get to see Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi arriving at this particular venue, freshen up and head towards the oath-taking ceremony will be right from here. Absolutely. Actually, a few follow-up questions for you. Would you, be able to tell, to, would you be able to tell us more about those who have been invited and those who have confirmed their attendance for the oath-taking ceremony today? Well, uh, yesterday night, M.K. Stalin arrived in Bengaluru. Uh, former Chief Minister of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, Mehbooba Mufti, also arrived yesterday along with uh, Ashok Gehlot as well. And uh, Sitaram Echuri is also here at uh, the 
Shangri-La Hotel venue and Farooq Abdullah as well as I mentioned right now and various other Congress ministers, MLAs from uh, different states have arrived here. They will be taking part uh, in this and uh, right now we also witnessed Rahul Gandhi, uh, Priyanka Gandhi welcomed by uh, DK Shukumar in a traditional attire. So these are all the leaders who have arrived here and uh, various other MLAs uh, and uh, secretaries from uh, states like uh, now, uh, you know, uh, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh also, have also arrived here. We are also uh, you know, getting to learn that K.C. Chandrasekhar, who has been invited, Mamta Banerjee, who has been invited, are expected to come to Bangalore as well. So these are the ministers, uh, the chief ministers, uh, who have arrived at Bangalore. Uh, so we will get to see all of them uh, arriving at the venue, taking part in this particular road-taking ceremony. And this is also said to be a, a show of strength by the opposition, stating that,